time to leave, I think I'll be satisfied with what I've done. So I think I'll be, when that time comes, I'll be excited. But right now, at this moment, it's nervous. Like, I feel like NIU prepared me great enough, and it'll be like a bittersweet feeling. I'll miss everything I've done or everything I was involved with, but when it's time to go, it's just time for me to go. I think myself, i become not only more independent, but I feel like within my teaching, I've become more creative, and my behavior management skills have greatly improved. I'm gonna miss the people. I miss the experience and um, kind of that learning the new latest and greatest of my department. But at the same time, this is what I've kind of been practicing for. The classes and some of the professors um, really have motivated me and taught me the little things and they've gave me insight to the industry. Um, they've given me connections, written me recommendation letters that have given me the opportunity to go out and get internships to help me further my education, help me get more experience, um, and to put me where I'm at today. It stinks, but at the same time, it's probably a good thing. You know, I'm moving on. It means I did something right. I had my own little special situation where um, I, like most students, had a really hard time with this hat. Oh my gosh, the tap was just so evil. And Dr. Hergene had so much patience with me. She made the time for me personally to tutor me. And then she kept motivating me over the summer. You know, you got this, you can do this. Barbara Amberg has helped me the most this past year. She constantly kept working with me. Okay, well, you know, we really want you to stay in the college of it because I really feel as though you're born to be a teacher. The fact that she really cared about me individually and cared about my end goal, it really just, I don't know, it just really made me feel special. Without them, I would have had no motivation. I was getting ready to quit. Not college, but I was getting so close to just saying, forget it, I'm just going to change my major and do something I probably wasn't going to be as happy with. If it wasn't for Miss Miller, um, I want to be where I'm at today, and I want to be going to grad school, um, and I want to be headed in the direction in which I'm headed. Three years ago when I first came in, uh, I was in academic trouble. She kind of motivated me, pushed the right buttons, and um, you know, motivated me every time I came into her class, and she taught me the little ins and outs, and um, honestly, if it wasn't for her, I probably would have dropped out. On far classes, Dr. Harris, she always had us in like a circle. It was always in a circle and um, it was discussions that was real like touchy for some people, but it was related to education. And the whole moral of her lessons was to show us that like, you know, your viewpoints can change on things. Cause she was a teacher and she had one viewpoint and then we'll get done with our class discussion and she'll have a whole different viewpoint. And she was just patient with people answers. And like she guided people to like, answers or to have a better understanding. That's the biggest thing I learned to help me. And um, two, learning how to transition. Like it's, sometimes it's not always okay to be like just so serious. Cause I know like with this major, it's like everything is like dead on. She taught me just how to like relax, enjoy the moment and don't think too much about the future. Cause she, um, she told me like, you're going to be a teacher. We all know that, but this is the experience that you would never have back. And I was like, whoa. Professor Gail Colleen in the uh, physical education department. She has kept me in this program. She's just very personable and she is the one who talked me into staying. She kind of believed in me and um, said that, you know, there are some people that have gone through this program that, um, you know, you can kind of see different things. She goes, and she told me that she thinks that I would be an awesome teacher, that I need to stay in this program for the sake of the kids and for, you know, like my future, because she knows that this is what I want to do. Because of her, I stuck with it and I'm graduating in May.